The Sustain in Abuja advocates on mental health as seeking for more inclusion for persons with disabilities in Nigeria. They believe this can be done through the proper implementation of the Disability Rights Law, which will help to alleviate the many challenges faced by youths with disabilities and help give them a better life. Health correspondent Kemi Balogun reports. Having any kind of disability comes with a lot of challenges in a country like Nigeria. It is even harder to cope without the necessary structures put in place for inclusion in the system. This mental health advocacy walk through the streets of the capital city is to simply put mental health issues on the front burner of government and individual discussions. But this is not any mental health walk. It is specifically for youths with disability and their families to preach the word of inclusion and discourage isolation. Some youths with hearing and visual impairments highlight the challenges they face trying to live a noble life. If you want to enter a public transport, you will not know which bus is going to where. Sometimes, if they are going to beggar, and a car going to beggar is there, but because I can't, I can't read lips, I cannot hear, so I might enter the wrong um, transport fare. So, communication barrier is often our issue. Seems like try to negotiate with people and making friends is one of the big challenges I'm facing currently. There are problems with facing teachers because some teachers might not go deep to your own understanding. Description is one of the problems we are having where you don't have a teacher that will be able to describe things for you and put you through. Organizers also explain to us why raising this awareness is important. From the uh, onboarding group therapy sessions that we, we had, we got to hear a lot of mental health challenges that these young people are dealing with. And a lot of it is coming from stigmatization, it is coming from them being discriminated, it's coming from them as well not being included in conversations um, regarding um, uh, anything basically in regarding you know, their health, regarding their education, regarding their social lives. The burden of how to ensure that um, this um, the stigma, you know, that comes is associated with the, 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 the disease of leprosy. It's it's very it's very key, and uh, it's no better time to begin to amplify the issue and to let people know that inclusion is of the essence. They believe that an effective implementation of the disability rights law signed in 2019 will help to make this inclusion a reality. There's certain things that have been put in into that act regarding um, conversations around them. And we're saying that these things should be taken seriously. Discriminatory behavior done specifically to these individuals are actually supposed to be, uh, they're, they're actually supposed to be penalized. Reports say an estimated 95.5% of children with disabilities in Nigeria are out of school. But with proper inclusion, this can change drastically. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.